guys it is late at night and i'm having a hard time sleeping i told you guys in my um big lots and uh 99 cent store haul i will kind of tell you some news i am um filling out some pages in my happy planner um because there's sometimes i don't have time to do it so a day that i don't have time to do it or a day that I cannot sleep. Um, like today, I'm just going to knock some pages out. Um, so what has happened in, I just broke my nail. Um, I saw first of all on Facebook and then I saw on the news. And so I wanted to make this video, and you guys, sorry, I'm not going to be looking at the camera. I'm, of course, like I said, doing my happy planner and just chatting with somebody. Um, you guys know that I am a victim of domestic violence, and um, something happened actually late last night. I actually heard the police... Um, sirens a childhood friend of mine we grew up together very close um was on the news now we all knew that she was in a domestic violence situation she had us uh, four kids to be exact with this man she was kind of in my situation a stay-at-home mom we didn't know the severity we knew that he um has beat her in the past but she kept going back and making excuses like domestic violence or women that are dealing with domestic violence do um we would talk occasionally on facebook but kind of lost touch as being adults um like we all do with our you know uh childhood friends so on the news last night what ended up happening is she finally escaped the situation with her four kids. She just graduated school. She's a, a year older than me. She did escape. She got her own place um, for several months. And uh, they were dealing with uh, a court system, the court system on child custody, you know, because she was a stay-at-home mom. He had the money, the money, he actually owned his own business and then worked another job. And so he was fighting for custody of the children. And you know, our good old court system took forever. Um, I don't know as far as the steps that she took and if she let them know about domestic violence. I, however, let my um, caseworkers and the courts know about my domestic violence and it took them you know, a long time to even get a uh, child support rolling. So I assuming she did tell, but um, anyways, as of last night, um, some tragic news happened. Um, I will let you guys know the story from the news, um, as well as from family members, friends have told me that the family members, etc. So she shows up at his job to drop the kids off and um, they got in an altercation where she was pointing her finger in his face. Um, I guess she went to her new apartment, which he knew where it was at because uh, I think what I'm assuming is that she would go back with him for to get money so her kids could, you know, she has four kids, small children too. I think kindergarten and, and under, they're all like babies. And um, he showed up at her house. Her two daughters were at, were, weren't there. I think at her sister's and her two sons were there, which were infant. I think one was three and one, one is one. Um, gunpoint uh, forced her and her two sons, which those are his kids too, into an RV that he recently purchased. At gunpoint, kidnapped her and um, the two sons. Um, he ended up he 
he called Fox 4 News and let them know, but he shot her um, once in each leg. Her jaw was broken, so I'm assuming pistol whipped her or beat her. Shot her in the back. Um, she was able, and I don't know if you guys know about this system, and I highly recommend you telling any friends that you think that are in a domestic violence case, there is where you can text 911. We only have it in certain counties, but instead of calling 911, because if you are in a situation like that, you can't call. So she texted 911, shot his name, so-and-so, give first, last name. I'm in an RV going in this direction, and she kept texting the 911 operators to where they did locate the RV on the highway and I last night heard the sirens and Frank told me isn't it sad that you heard those sirens and that just so happened to be your friend in that RV and um and uh they uh she shot several times I'm we're not sure yet if she jumped out of the RV because the RV was going between 80 to 90 miles an hour or if he pushed her out the window of the RV but she was he was going 80 to 90 miles an hour she fell out the police of course in this meantime the police did put up strips and try and blow out the tires um, so I, it was just going on rims um, so she jumped or fell out of the RV the cops rendered aid. Of course, her jaw was broken, hit, you know, she had road rash, also from being shot several times. All she was saying is, my babies are still in the RV, my babies are still there, my babies are still there. Um, during this, he called Fox 4 News, and they played the audio tape, and he said she killed herself because she put her finger in my face. Because um, remember earlier, they had an altercation where she put her finger in his face. Um, she killed herself. She came up to my job. Um, I shot her, and he told the Fox 4 News where he shot her, and they were pleading with him to stop the vehicle because the two children were in the car to surrender. And uh, he said no. He said he'll shoot himself. Um, so what ended up happening is... Um, the RV uh, came to a stop because it started on fire because, again, the uh, rims were gone. So the RV started on fire and um, and um, so he, which thank God, and like I said, you guys can see, it even shows it on the news. Um, the front engine of the RV was on fire he opened up the doors and threw the babies out face first like just threw them out of the rv a brave officer with six children knowing that the guy in the the rv was armed ran and got the two babies and then they heard a gunshot and uh obviously he shot himself and then the whole rv went into flames like um completely like it's burned to the ground so my friend is um, at a hospital and um, I know she had surgery on her jaw. They're not, of course, letting friends in. It's just family, but her mom is um, elder. I think one friend told me 85 years old. So how is her mom going to take care of her four babies? So um, another friend has started a GoFundMe page and I offered to help as well, um, take in some of her babies. If her family needs babysitters, um, I will go through my kids' clothes. You guys know that. I have no problem with that. Um, but I know the two babies are at a different hospital. So um, I can't sleep just thinking. I know that the last I heard she is sedated and on a breathing tube. But I don't know if she's a, you know, a vegetable you know, I don't know the correct word. I don't want to say vegetable. Par par paralegic? Par I'm not sure the correct word. Um, I don't know if she's able to walk. I don't know if she's, you know, I do know that she did tell the police, you know, my, ba my children, my children. I have two children on the RV, so I know that she wasn't, like, completely gone because she was able to communicate with the officer 
I do know that she's breathing and she went through surgery. I do know that. So I'm hoping she's okay. Me and my friend, we're going to go to the hospital. Um, but I told her they're not going to let us in. The news crew was even there, and the family wouldn't talk to the news crew. The family talked to another mutual friend of ours, and then she relayed she was actually on the news. So, um, it is crazy, and I wanted to... Oh, let me show you guys the page. I wanted... Um, it just hearts. Just represent love. I wanted to come on here to let you guys know if you are going through any kind of domestic violence and what I mean and some of the signs are is the man will belittle you call you names um, even if he doesn't hit you or even if he's just smacked you around one or two times and you're like oh it was because he was drunk or you know you make excuses but abuse is also verbal abuse and it does turn into um, worse things and I just wanted if, if you are going through that and even if you don't want to contact me, please, please, please contact somebody. Um, reach out. And even if you don't want to, I had family that didn't care that told me to stay with him. So even if you don't have family to reach out to, um, please reach out to friends. Um, or even if you don't have friends and you're ashamed, reach out to the community Um me personally, I would be there for any woman, no matter the case, as she was escaping a domestic violence situation. Um, unfortunately, I did reach out to my friends and they all thought, oh my God, you're going to leave you, you know, your husband, you have three kids, you know, shame on you, just deal with it. And so I have lost a lot of my friends. Actually, to be honest with you, probably 75% of the people on my Facebook are those friends that gave me the cold shoulder. And I have them on there because, well, a lot of them requested me because they want to see what ended up happening to me. But I called half of them. Hey, can I sleep on your couch? Hey, you know, none of them were there for me. And it's funny that they're all uh, now on my um, Facebook. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty crappy. But if you are going through that... Uh, situation like I said please 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 reach out to somebody um, and get help because these people are narcissists they will blame you and it is not your fault it is never a woman's fault for a man hitting her or belittling her in any way it is never a woman's fault so that's what they do they get into your head and if you're worried like I was and like I'm assuming my friend was about money, how I'm, you know, I'm a stay-at-home mom, please, please make that your last worry because there is help out there. Um, there definitely is. Just get out of the situation and most importantly, get your babies out of that situation. And hey, you know, even if you want to send me an email and um, talk, I definitely will, and I will look up any information um, that I can um, for somebody and help in any way that I um, can. But yeah, it's, and not to mention two days, you know, before this, a friend of a friend, I didn't know personally, a young 19-year-old girl, and uh, she's actually her... She is friends with my uh, Frank's co-worker or old co-worker. So, friend of a friend. Uh, she was at a club and uh, her newly one-month boyfriend, or I think it was one month. This was on the news as well. This was two days ago. Um, started beef. Actually, they were at a strip club. And uh, started beef with another guy. And this, her boyfriend's a small guy. So they kicked him out of the club, which it was like closing time or soon to be closing time anyways. Her boyfriend pulled out a gun and she to, you know, threaten or shoot the guy that he had beef with because assuming the guy was bigger than him. And uh, she ran up beside him and was like, no, 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 no. You know, he accidentally shot her.
killed her. So he is in, uh, he stayed at the scene. Um, she has a one son, only 19 years old, you guys. And what idiot, he just accidentally shot her. She was next to him. It wasn't like she was across the way covering the other guy up. Um, it's sad, like, and then there is an, another girl a day before. She's 21 with, um, I think she had a daughter and she was at a club and uh, about 10 minutes from me up the road on the highway wrecked and uh, died. And it's like every single day some young woman is, is, is getting hurt or dying and... Um, it just it just saddens me. I was talking to a guy at uh, at ninety nine cent. He knew the girl that uh, got shot by her boyfriend at the strip club, and uh, it's crazy. It's just crazy to me. And you know, I don't know. Words cannot describe what what this world is coming to. Like, it really is coming to a shitty place. And it's sad. We can't be safe. You know? It really is. We, you know, I don't know. And, and these young women, please, you guys, if you have daughters, especially... And even with me, I have sons. Be aware of what your children are doing, please. Please be aware. Um, always know where your kids are at. You know, always, you know, raise them right. You know, I know that we don't have control over what our kids do. Now, I'm speaking of, I am someone who's, my oldest is about to be 14. So, I haven't hit that stage like as some of you guys have. So, I may be speaking, you know, too far ahead of myself. But I can tell you this, like, I've been there, done that. I've done some stuff in my life. I know the signs, or at least I think I know the signs. And, um... I will be aware. I'm not going to be oblivious to, for example, if my son comes home high. I'm going to I'm gonna know. Trust me. I'm going to check them eyes. And, uh, you know, be aware of that. And don't just say, oh, you know, they came home high. They came home drunk. They're doing this. They're out clubbing. They're just with their friends, you know. They're not out clubbing. They could be at a strip club, you know. And, um, yeah, it's scary. I I could chat with you guys for hours, but I'm going to let you go. I may come back later on and do a um, planner reveal because I noticed that I haven't showed you guys an updated planner. But please pray for my friend, you guys. Pray for even that younger girl that I didn't know personally and the other girl. Pray for women in general. Um, we need to stick together. We need to have that willpower. Quit putting each other down. Quit feeling bad about uh, race, uh, body type, hair color, just everything. You guys are beautiful and don't let anybody tell you any different. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.